Hi everybody, this is B here, and today I'm doing July Book of the Month, and it is Spartacus Rebellion, and it is by Ben Kane, also the author of The Forgotten Legion. Now, I know you, all of you are wondering, where have I been? Well, shortly after I got Kareem, my Korea box for July, if you saw videos before, BTS unboxing. Um, I went to a concert in Houston, and ever since then, my phone was acting strange, wasn't acting right. Then, the unthinkable happened. I was walking from work to lunch and fell in from in from a pothole. Chose my life over the phone. Phone was cracked, so it took me a while to get a new phone. So that's why it took so late. And then. Of course, when I got the phone, I got busy with work and with life, blah, 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 blah. So, here we are. But anyway, my thoughts on the book is it's very, very easy read. Very easy read. Um, I had no problem reading with it. But a few times, uh, I got lost, like, not fully lost, but, like, mixed up with the characters who, who, uh, who's talking, who's viewpoint is because there's so many characters in the book um it will the it, book flip falls between the the villain and one of the members of the army because what it is is about you know spartacus so if you don't know about spartacus google him it's not you know if you don't know about spartacus then your teachers are not teaching you history or legends or world history basically but um I mean, it's very, I mean, it's got fic like fictional and non-fictional mixed in, so it's very well balanced. Um, in the back, it actually has glossaries, all the words, what they mean, stuff like that, and of course, it includes the author's note, so on and so forth. But all that, it was a decent book. Um, to be quite honest, I don't know exactly where to get this book, other than Dollar Tree, because that's where I got it. I'm sure you can get it off of... Um, www.stmartins.com um, It's possible where you can possibly get it. Um, I'll even put, a little, put the URL in the description box. Um, surprisingly, I've heard when I was reading the back of it, um, I didn't read the other ones, but I heard it was good. Apparently, when I read this book, it was a sequel to the first book. Um... Which, the first book is Spartacus the Gladiator. So, I'll have to find that book somewhere. I'll have to, I'll have to Google him, but here's the, da, 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 da. here's the page. Um, of course, we're the second one here. Um, I don't know who James Rollins is, but it's by St. Martin's Press. So, it's probably a UK book, someone from the UK, because I don't think there's a St. Martin's in the uh, United States. So, but it's been, it's printed, yeah, it was printed in the United States of America. Oh, never mind, St. Martin's Griffin's in New York City, New York. I never heard of it, so, yeah, so the more you know. <laughs> but, um, otherwise, it was quick to read. Um, it's one of those, too, though, that if, oops. I got the book. It's one of those books too. Late at night, sometimes it's a little harder to read because there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, there's a little over 400 pages, just a little bit, probably 19. It was about 419 pages for the whole book, but it's very descriptive when it comes to the fighting. Um, it's very uh, te technical, so. Yeah, if, if you're really tired, I wouldn't recommend this book, like, at night. If you're really tired from long work, I would do it when you have a your mind's full, not full, but, you know, not tired, where you can comprehend what you're reading, because if you're not fully into the book, you will miss half of what you're reading. Um, it's just one of those books where it's kind of like uh, the movie uh, Shutter Island, if you don't pay attention there's no point of reading or watching it. You're going to miss everything about it. Um, most of them are, the words are not hard to pronounce. Um, 
well, for most people. Um, other than that, it's, it's a good read. Um, would I recommend it for heavy readers? No, it's, it's like medium light, so they wouldn't enjoy the time. They'd just be like, oh, done. Um, another one on the shelf. But otherwise, it's, it's a good book. Um, for those who are not into books much, but like a moderate read, that's what it would be. It's a moderate read is what I would label it. So, um, sorry, I keep looking on the floor. Just come pick it up. I just don't like books on the floor. But other than that, it's a really good book. Um, I mean, there's a lot of, of course, a lot of people have a critical praise for it. But I'll have to look in to see where if I can find the book because you probably will find it if you Google it. But I found it at the Dollar Tree, so it just piqued my interest, so I grabbed it. I grabbed it while I could, so. But for, you know, books you can find at Dollar Tree, it was not bad, but. But yeah, it was pretty good. I wasn't expecting the ending, because I didn't, I thought it was going to be, fic like, not, like, a made-up story, just to use a historical figure. But, yeah, it kind of made me teary-eyed at the end, so. Don't get emotionally attached because it's not the ending that you want it to be. Let's put it that way. Um, but otherwise, it's a good read. Um, but yes, I do apologize for the late uh, upload, late review, blah, blah, blah. It's, it was, can't be helped this time. But, like, what if I recommend it from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I would put this probably a six, maybe a seven, close to a seven. It's not, it's not hundred percent great, but it's not hundred percent bad. It's a good, it's a, it's a decent book. So if you can find the local book near you, Google it. You might find it in a bookstore, or try to see if you can find a Dollar Tree like I did. But anyway, thank you for tuning in my channel. And if you want to follow me on other social media platforms, um, information will be in the description box. And thank you so much for tuning in. And stay tuned for my July favorites. Toodles.